Yo, make sure to like and subscribe in the next five seconds and hit that notification bell if you don't want these murder hornets to be in your bed tonight. Believe me, I wouldn't risk it. Alright boys, well now it's time to jump into my settings, but before you do so, make sure to head over to the item shop, hit support a creator, and type in code spades, and hit accept. But yeah, let's just get right into my settings. Alright, so coming on into my settings, I do use full screen 90x20, 16x9 gameplay, and I do run 240 frames because I do have a 240Hz monitor. My brightness is at 100, I just keep this up by default, I don't really use colorblind or anything. When it comes to graphics, to get the best frames, I have everything off and everything on low. Other than view distance on far, which is very important to me. I do not use V-Sync or Motion Blur, and I do not use DX12 because I tab out a lot, so DX11 is preferred for me. Coming over here, I do have Auto, which is NAE's 15ms, but you know, I get zero ping. Then I have Shrimp by default, Auto Open Doors, of course. I have Auto Sort Consumables to the right, really helpful when sorting meds. Reset Building Choice, Turbo Building, and Confirm Matter Release, I do not use at all. I don't even know what this is to be honest. I use this as all default. And record replays I always have on because I always want to have replays on. When it comes to HUD I like having things small so I have it at 65 and I have most things off. I do not like the reticle ammo indicator so I have that off. And I have quest progress off and map and backpack keys off because I do not like those at all. I don't you play really mouse and keyboard so this doesn't really matter too much I'll be honest. Now to the controller settings, the most important part, really. Um, I have auto run off, builder pro, build immediately, of course it's on. Edit hold time, all the way off, vibration off, of course, who plays with vibration. Then build mode sensitivity multiplier, we have it at 2.4, and we have the edit mode sensitivity multiplier at 2.1. So yeah, that's really much my sense, but not really because I do use use advanced options. So look horizontal speed for me is 59%. And look, vertical speed is 56%. This is a really fast sense. Not too fast, but not too slow. So it's right perfect, but it's still pretty fast. Horizontal and vertical boost, I both have a 2%. Ramp boost time all the way low. Actually, at 0.1. That's how I keep it up. Ramp boost time, I have it at 0.1. Er, ramp boost time, I have it at 0.01. Into boost when building, of course, that's on. ADS look, horizontal and vertical, 12 and 12. For sniping and aiming with an AR and like all that stuff. I have this at zero and I have this at default, so that doesn't really do anything. Now, I do have look dampening time at zero, zero, zero. I do not mess with that. But linear is what I use. Linear is just so much easier than exponential. If I ever had to go back to exponential, I'd probably quit. Exponential is like really hard now, so yeah. Uh, I'm never going back. Legacy, well, that's pretty much out the game for good. 
dead zones, I have it at 10 and 8. 10 and 8 is just the best for me, and I know I do not get drift. Rarely, rarely, rarely do I get drift, but yeah, that's pretty much that. Enable full control, I have it on and 1 to 1%, because apparently this just makes your editing a bit faster, and I kind of feel it, so yeah, that's on for a reason. Um, for the volume, I have everything, music off, I don't like the music, everything up, voice chat lower, just so it's not too loud, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Keyboard, I'll show you my keyboard settings, even though I really don't play keyboard, but here they are. Now to the controller settings, this is what I use, this is the most important. I have it set to generic, and these are pretty much my binds. I edit with left stick, and you know, I confirm with B, I jump with A, and you know, all of that. Dead zones are the same, everything like that. So yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. What I will say is that generic is a lot better in this season because you're like inputting it to a general controller and not either PlayStation or Xbox. So do use generic if you're gonna copy my settings or even if you're not. Generic is probably the most important setting of all when it comes to controller settings nowadays. And yeah, that's pretty much the video, boys. If you did enjoy the video, let me know with a like. Subscribe to the channel with Nodi's on if you're new. And also, don't forget to use code space item shop, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye